Okay, here we go. We're ready to do the settings for the header section. I'm going to go back and forth between the settings section and the home page of the website so that you can see what I'm referring to. This box here with the orange bar, this setting is for the entire top section. So that would be this entire section across the top. Then this box here is for the tagline area and that would be this section here. This box here is for the social links. So we're going to go take care of them one at a time and I'm going to be just adding images so that you can see what the effect is. So when you want to make a change, you click on the little gear. There are um, 15 different section styles to choose from. And I'm going to add an image just so you can see what happens when you do. And I just uploaded a few images to play around with. And we'll set that as a background and there are you can um, you can make changes to any of these if you want wanted to put a video in the the tagline area you could do that so here's all <laughs> a whole mess of different settings you can really go nuts with this so when you add something or change something Make sure that you save the section settings. And if you don't save here, you won't see any changes. So make sure you save settings here as well. Let's just go and take a peek. And I will refresh the screen. And you see it put the red bar across the, the whole top of the, um, the website. OK. Now, this area is for the tagline settings, so you're going to click on the gear. And again, there are a bunch of different row styles to choose from. And you can upload an image. So I'm going to put in another image. And again, you can change background color. If you don't have to add an image, you could just choose a color. The padding refers to the space between one section and another. Um, and it's always set in pixels. So and if you know any CSS code, you can add that here. So we'll save the row settings, save settings. I'll go and refresh the screen. And now you see the effect of what we did in just the tagline area. Now, this is for the tagline itself. The little gear is what you click on to make any additions and changes anywhere in the theme. So we're going to change this uh, I can change the font color Um, I could change the background color instead of using a an image. You can set the text size, say you want this to be large. You can set where you want the tagline to be. If you want the text bold or italic, so I'm going to make it italic. 
and again you can put uh, padding around the tagline itself okay and once you've finished editing here save the tagline save settings refresh the screen and you can't read the the green text but this is all part of the setup you have to to test and see what works and what doesn't but um, you can see that the that the tagline was changed and the color of the font was changed and if I were to keep the tagline area as big as this I would probably put padding uh, above the the tagline maybe 20 pixels so it's something to play around with for social links now this is this is doesn't refer to the links themselves we took care of that um, in a previous video this takes care of the the area that the social links sits in and I think if you remember from the video that I showed you the the social links the icons were quite small and you may notice that in this one they're much larger and that's because I added padding top and bottom and a margin so I gave it gave it a lot more room to hold larger social links and these icons I think are approximately 50 by 50 pixels any larger than that and there's not enough room so the outside container is responsible for the entire section and then this container is responsible for the part that's right above the at the top of the website so this is the company logo area again you've got section styles to choose from if you wanted a background image in the across the top of the the theme you can upload an image you can change section colors uh, you could use a video up there as well and here's all different settings to make all these changes and when you're finished doing your editing you save the section settings and then for the logo area select a style if you want a background image so all of these these parts are the same if you want a, a larger area say I want um, 20 pixels padding top and bottom and I'm not going to change anything else I will save the row setting and I will come in here and I'm going to just add a different image as the company logo I have a fabulous spider and there's my my new company logo and I can if I if for some reason the logo doesn't show up you may want to have some text that will show up in that area if you want um, the best spider if you want something underneath the the logo you can set the text color drop shadow if you want it where you want the the text to be if you want it centered okay and then save logo save settings and I'm going to do that again and we will go and see if we have a spider on our site so I'll just refresh the screen and there we have a spider okay and you see it's got 20 pixels padding and 20 pixels padding and um, you know so this is this is really exciting we can do all sorts of changes here um, if you wanted to add something beneath the logo if you had a video or if you wanted a, a wide 
bar or say a coupon offer or something like that you could go ahead and add that and wherever it reads add modules if you click on add modules it will bring up this screen and here are all the different modules you can choose from to put into any area that reads add modules and I would say that's it for this section and next video will be uh, on the top model top menu settings okay so I totally spaced on the call us now button um, so we'll do the settings here and again you can name this whatever you want um, click to call button you probably want that as a yes especially for mobile optimized and select your colors here we're going to make it yellow this is okay button hover color we'll do green and you could have it open to the contact us page um, I like to if I'm going to click on a tab for something um, I guess it really depends on what it is you're doing but you could open it in a new window the button height let's do width 60 this may not be button text color is white it's already white and button is oriented to the side so let's see what damage we've done here save settings and click on and refresh oh <laughs> Okay, so let's go back and change that. <laughs> Height, let's make it 150 pixels high. And width is 80 pixels. And text font, button color, okay. and the white text will probably not show up very well okay so you can see you can go back and forth if this is all really important uh, you should go ahead and change it um, and the settings that are already in the theme are excellent